Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful photo montage, um, digital collage, whatever you want to call it, in front of you, um, as you can see on screen. It's really easy to create, easy to make, and it doesn't require any skills whatsoever. It just requires some basic patience and yeah, that's about it. It will take around 10 to 20 minutes to complete the whole collage. Um, to do this, you will need to go to the description below and download the template provided um, by me that I've created. And once you've opened that template into Photoshop, it will look something like this. There will be two layers, one called background, which will be locked and hidden. The other layer will be called shape one, copy free. And that will be the one that's showing and visible. What you're going to want to do, you might be able to see this if you counted already, but this is a 17 image photo collage, meaning that you will need 17 images um, to create this. Um, so once you have your 17 images, you'll want, you're ready. Just put all 17 images into Photoshop and you're ready. I'm going to just show you guys with three images as 17 images will take too long. So what you want to do, yeah, very nice photo. Just drag it in. Now, these photos that I'm using, I'm going to warn you guys straight away, they are very small. Uh, meaning that I am personally going to have to enlarge them physically in, to, in Photoshop, which isn't necessarily a good thing to do because it usually pixelates the image. However, it didn't really pixelate my image here. But once it's in Photoshop and you dragged it on top of the template, make sure you, all your images are going to be above the two layers. What you're going to want to do is lower the opacity to below 50, okay? anything below 50s that you can still see your image and still see the boxes behind it. And you're just going to want to position your image anywhere. So I like it there. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to close that, go to the next image and drag it and place it there. Once again, it is very small. I'm going to enlarge it and just place it there. I'm going to position there and change the opacity to below 50. Okay. Beautiful. Finally, my third image, I'm just going to drag it in. I'm going to place it there. Enlarge. Um, I did say I don't recommend enlarging images. However, if you must, the shortcut to enlarge an image on a Mac is Command T or on a PC, Control T. Just for you guys want to know that. Position that and let's just say you guys can imagine all 17 images are done. Okay, let's just pretend I have 17 images on the screen in front of you. Once you're on to that stage, what you're going to want to do is click on shape one, copy free, that layer that was there above the background layer. You're going to want to, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC, if you're on a Mac, press command and hold it. Or if you're on a PC, press control and hold. You want to hover over this box here and you can see your mouse changes. Click once and it will select around every single box that is there on the template. You're going to want to click on your lasso tool over here, right click and press select inverse. Once you have that, you're going to want to go on your top layer, which is your 17th image that you've imported. And you're just going to want to press delete. You want to go down through all your images and just keep pressing delete. And what this is doing, um, if you can see in between the images, there is this border and that is deleting the image through the border. So you can have a nice black border in the end. Um, you're going to want to do this for all 17 layers. Once you're done on a Mac, press Command D or Control D on a PC to deselect. You can just select all your layers and rise the opacity all the way to 100. Now you can almost instantly see the problem that we have occurring right in front of us is the fact that since we've enlarged our images and there's images on top of images and so on and so on, um, for example, over here, this image is overlapping this image, but it's very easy to fix. All you need to do is click on your rectangular marquee tool and just select it there. Okay. You're going to want to make sure though on your layer panel that you are actually deleting the correct layer. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the seahorses layer and just hit delete. Okay. I'm going to go do the same thing there and delete. And after that, you're going to do that for all your images and you'll be left with this. Now you're basically in the final, final stage and the final thing to do is hide the shape one copy free layer, which will sometimes show 
some mistakes, which is good. So just fix those if you need to. And unhide the background layer. And you'll be left with this. Well, you'll be left with this. And it's a beautiful, really easy to do, impress your friends sort of thing. And yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Hope you learned something. And um, if you're going to do it, if you can post it as a video response, um, your images of what you've created to this video or just press like the video, thumbs up always. If you have any questions or any comments, do leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Favorite the video if you've actually learned something and enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Follow me on Twitter and join, me on, join my Facebook fan page. All the links will be in the description below. Until next time tutorial, peace.